I've just got back from a skiing trip and just before the trip I made a piece of kit that I think is almost essential if you've got one of these. Okay, so despite being a pro uh, video maker, I also like to make films uh, for fun. And one of the things I like to do is make skiing and action uh, videos. So I have a GoPro like many of you may have. Uh, this is a GoPro Hero 5, I'm losing track of what numbers they are. Uh, if you've seen previous videos of mine, you'll know that last year I lost my Hero 3 on the slopes. So it gave me an idea. I decided that what I needed to do was, was secure the GoPro with a secondary tether, which is the sort of thing you do when you're pro filming and, and rigging anyway. Um, I just didn't want to spend a lot of money on it. So I made this. What is this? Well, it's an old uh, work lanyard. I have obscured the name of the um, corporation I used to work for. Uh, and what I've done is I've tie wrapped on a little carabiner here. These are not the climbing strength carabiners. These are just the sort of thing you might put uh, a bag, uh, connect a bag to another bag with, and another carabiner at this end. Um, now, these are very cheap. You can get these in a hardware store for only a few pence. And what this will allow that me to do is to extend and expand in such a way that means what you can do is connect this to uh, the GoPro housing and this to your boot if you're on a snowboarder or your helmet strap and your GoPro has a secondary okay, tether. So it's fairly straightforward. Uh, how you connect it is um, pretty self-explanatory I'd like to think but if you are struggling to work out how to connect it to a housing let me just show you one way of sort of uh, arranging that. Open it up where the hinge is you effectively wrap this around it, close it on it, connect it back together and this can hook onto itself. <laughs> Easy said and done, there we go, hooked onto itself. Now you might decide to use tie wraps or something rather than one of these because this will rattle quite a bit. Um, and it does rattle a little bit. So this is a uh, secondary tether system which obviously is handy because it expands on contracts to suit your needs uh, but also you might find that you make some refinements to it. All it is is it's a simple idea to protect your piece of equipment and this has protected me when these fail which they almost always do. So for me this is an invaluable bit of kit. I've used it on the last holiday. I had sticky pads falling off my snowboard. I had sticky pad falling off my helmet. Um, and this protected me because I, I snapped it onto the straps. I snapped it onto the laces of my boot. I did various um, things that basically meant that if the sticky pad let go, the GoPro would stay close to me. Uh, also, it made a bit of a rattle, which allowed me to spot that it had happened to, um, last year. Uh, in Chamonix when I lost the GoPro Hero 3. Uh, I had no idea it had gone until I got to the bottom of the slope. So I hope this helps somebody. Uh, feel free to drop a comment at the bottom if you want to. Um, I don't tend to do these filming tips. I tend to leave them to the uh, people who have more time. But I thought this was quite a handy little one and it's cheap as chips. You found this useful? Let me know. Uh, I might make some more. Uh, if the quality isn't up to my usual standard, I'm shooting it on a phone and I'm trying to use the audio on the phone itself. So we'll see. Is it any good? I'm about to find out.